Hi, hi, all right. So this is the third video of part of the course throughout the week, even though I've done other videos throughout. But as far as this course, and I'm gonna put in units, which seems to not be working out. Um, anyway, it's there, and then I'm putting it on YouTube also. All right, so today I wanna to talk about abdominals and then a little bit of arms. So going back to, it was the first day, it was supposed to be Monday, but then I didn't wasn't aware that it didn't happen until Tuesday. So I posted it Tuesday. We did abdominals where we did the tiny marches and then tabletop and then touching down. So there's really a lot of variety that you can have here as long as you just keep this engaged. So you're gonna inhale, shoulders gently back, and then exhale, lift one leg up to tabletop, inhale, put it down, and then switch and do the other side. Inhale, and don't forget, go my tempo. I know it feels slow, inhale, Try to contract, kind of like you're doing the pelvic clocks that we did do on the first day. Do one more each side, inhale, and then one more time, hold that leg up, come bring the other leg up. Inhale, exhale, reach one leg out, and then inhaling in, and then exhale. So again, it's just another variety of keeping my core neutral and reaching the leg out. If I feel my neck or I'm inchworming, scooting down, that's not stability. You wanna work from here. You could do some pointed feet, not aggressively pointed, or reach out through the heels, because it actually just does change the muscles a little bit. So do both legs out, exhale, and then inhale in. You can have your feet at any position. I just changed it a little bit. And then exhale and inhale. So I'm warming up my armpits and I am using my arms a little bit. And then one more time. So then hands behind your head, curl up. Make this an upper body exercise. I definitely feel my armpits into my abs. Inhale, reach one leg out, exhale, and then inhaling in, and then exhale. So the most common foot position we use is kind of Barbie foot, where it's like somewhat extended ankle, but not like aggressively pointed toes, because that could cause more foot tension. So it's just a, a loose point. You know how she wears like shoes and her toes are pulled back? Do one more. Now switch and transition, inhale, exhale. Now to modify, go up a little bit more, because you want to be in the right range. As you get better, you can lower down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, two more, one more. Bend both legs in together, inhale, and then reach both legs out together. Inhale in, and then exhale, inhale, and then do two more. And then out, and one more time, and then let's bring your head down and bring your legs in. All right, so we're gonna come and sit up. So for today, I have three pound weights. I wouldn't recommend more than that because if you go too heavy with the weights, you're not gonna be using your abdominals as much and I want you to work from the inside out and next week we'll work more with strengthening but this week we're working stability. Um, three pounds might even be a little heavy so um, I could do two but you can see they're all the way over there and I'm not gonna get them. So some of you should not be rounding your back too much. A lot of times when people curl back, they get they do come too far back. So, one option, if you have a back condition, you might wanna have your feet down, and then you're just gonna do a little flat back come back, but have it come back from the abdominals. And then your feet to the floor, it might be easier. If you have decent flexibility and this is okay, this is the same thing that I'm doing. The rest of you, I do want you to try to curl and roll back. So you can hold the weights. Now if I come and curl, roll back a little bit, shoulders are down, I'm working my armpits and inhale, and then exhale, coming back up to a flat back, and then curl and roll back. So what's moving is my abdominals. What's stabilizing is my armpits. Nothing else is moving there, and I feel here working. I do feel my shoulders secondary, but the stability is coming from here. So my neck people, don't be working up here. If you can't get out of it, do a lighter weight, teach this to work more, and then that'll get stronger, this will fall away. 
Now, it's actually harder without the weights counteracting. So if you want more abdominals, just do this. If you have a back issue and you do flat back, you might need to hold a ball between the inner thighs to get out of your hip flexors, but this is the best back strengthener. Flat back, back, and then upright. This is the hands down the best because now I'm working vertebrae muscles versus this I'm working abdominals, but then I'm also working what's called the erector spinae, which lifts and lowers. All right, adding on. So with weights or without weights, I'm gonna come back, my arms come out to challenge and then slowly come back up, inhale. Exhale. Now you don't want to be in your legs. You can have your legs straight. Um, put something between the knees, even if it's a pillow or something or a toy. And then inhaling up and then one more time. And then inhale up. Now twist to one side. So exhale, twist and reach. Inhaling up and then switch. So can you notice how my armpit is connected to my ribs? I'm not swaying back my arm too much. I'm really just moving my core. And then if these weights start to get too heavy, just put them down. Because then it's also more abdominals in a different way. Um, but then I still feel my upper body working. And then do one more each side and then exhale, inhale. And then one more time here. Good. Then what you could do is just drop the knees open as you come and fold forward and then just stretch here. Just stretch out the hip flexors and the hips here. If your knees don't drop down a lot, that's fine. You can always lift your hips up on something too. All right. So now what we're going to do is come and lie on the stomach. So have your weights close by. So you're going to come and lie down. Now you want... You don't want your back to arch. You want to engage your abdominals and your glutes so your pubic bone is reaching forward to the mat and then your forehead's down on the mat. If your chin's down, your neck is going to be too arched, so I want your forehead down. So if you were to hover off, it comes from the upper spine muscles. And then inhale down. And then exhaling it up. Now sometimes if you can't get out of your lower back, I'd actually put your hips on something, if you fold your towel pillow up, that's gonna lift up, and now I can feel better stability through my hips, I don't get in my lower back, and then I feel my upper spine. Now in yoga, people tend to really push up to come up high, and that's not what we're doing here. We're, I might be having my arms down, but I'm actually trying to strengthen my upper body. So if my hands are on my forehead, I keep looking down, but then I lift up from my upper spine and then inhale and come down. And then do two more. Inhale and then one more. All right, I'm doing this out. So now with the weights, you can either keep your forehead down if your neck bothers you, palms face the floor. So then I pull my shoulder blades back, the hands are still on the floor. I exhale to lift the arms up and then inhale to come back down. Shoulder blades down away from the ears and then inhaling and down and then exhale. So when we work slower and lighter weight, you might see how I'm shaking, but that's connection. That's me working in my nervous system. Um, when you're going fast into fatigue, the shaking quality is very different. I'm shaking, but I'm not worried about losing control. Do as many as you can here. Inhale and then do one more time here. Good. So then make a goal post and then lift the arms up here and then inhaling and down. And then exhaling and up. Now if you don't have the best rotator cuffs, you might just want to be a T and lift up here. Noticing how my thumbs lift up. So I'm doing a slight roll back thumbs lift up. And you can do this with weights. You probably won't be able to do much more than two or three pounds. And then two more, whether it's goal posts or the other ones. And then one more. The next ones, I'm not even showing you with weight. You're going to do a face down snow angel. So I'm going to come forward, up, and down. Now if your shoulders don't feel good doing this, just stop where the range is. But this is typically where we're weak. We want to work the back of the shoulders here. And then inhale and then exhaling and then pulling it back 
and then coming and pulling it back. So if you want to lift the upper spine up a little and then come back down, you can. But this is really hard when you're doing it on the floor because you can't go lower than the floor. I could cheat and go lower than my machine, but... And one more time here and then exhale. Good. So let's come and sit back. And then you're going to come and sit on your butt. So I'm actively pulling my stomach off of my thighs to stretch into my lower back. Versus yoga is a child's pose, restorative. This is active. I can push into my arms a little bit to come and tuck back. And then I'm gonna come and roll up. All right, so I'm gonna end here with this video and then I'm gonna do a second video for maybe five minutes. So hopefully this helps everyone. Have a good day.